Good morning. It's another full day of eating this lovely Sunday. It's actually 7.15 in the morning. And they got some fruit for breakfast here. I got some pears and cantaloupe. This is left This is leftover uh, cantaloupe from last weekend. So I cut that up actually earlier this week. So I need to get it eaten up. But yeah, this is the whole Some pears and cantaloupe and there it is. 223 calories so boom I still have about roughly 100 calories yet for the day so we'll see what happens but yeah I'm gonna get eating kit don't mind the dishes but I'm, since I'm starting to eat breakfast now just instead of fasting just spread the food out because I'm eating a, a, a lot more food volume wise but yeah looking good overall I'm happy where the numbers fall so far but we'll see I'll probably end up eating more candles later I think to fill out those rest of about 100 calories just because I need to get it eaten before it goes bad so yeah we'll see how it goes see you at lunch kid anything you want to add he's like look at my sexy face all right and we're back with some lunch it's almost it's going on 12:30 here in lovely central Pennsylvania a nice sunny blue sky afternoon out there there you go lovely 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 but what we got for lunch is one and a half servings of chickpeas and one and a half servings of uh, dark red kidney beans and I put some chili powder in there mix them up I have this every day for lunch Monday through Friday at work and I had some extra this uh, today because just the way it worked out so I like putting chili powder in there. Normally I have an avocado on top of it. I have an extra avocado which I'm eating with dinner, so I'm saving it for then. And then what else we have over here is some, um, we have some tempeh right there. About 100 grams of tempeh. It's, it's the three grain. I don't I don't put any seasoning on it. I don't know. I, I like it just, just plain actually. I might put something on it here, some seasoning or some soy sauce or I don't know, whatever. Then we got some lentils, 48 grams of lentils. I love, love, love lentils. Then some broccoli underneath there and some peas. Two servings of broccoli and one serving of peas. Then my last gardenes, uh, meatless pork. Porkless meat pocket, whatever you want to call it. It's around the little bottom, but it's delicious. This is for our vegetarians out there. We have some Stouffer's vegetable lasagna. It was very good the first half. I'll eat the second half later. But that's for only for the vegetarians. Get it away through. It's kind of that, weird. That, that dairy cheese yuck. Get it <laughs> out of my brain. And then over here we have some wrap. I'm browning it up in the pan right now. It's actually pretty pretty firm, so I'll break it up and eat it like a... All right. I, I like my, my flat out wraps uh, crispy like that. Brown, just firming up in the pan. But I'll eat that like, like a chip or whatever, what have you. But that is lunch, that is everything, everything is off, my pile of dishes, and lunch has turned out to be um, right there, 1,070 calories, looking good. I had to make some adjustments from earlier because the chickpeas and kidney beans were less than I anticipated, so I'm actually had extra calories but then I added the flat out wrap and then I also made sure I added some extra cantaloupe uh, for later this evening so five five calories under my goal which is which is fine that calories over I guess I should say but everything looks good so that's, that's the totals for the day assuming some of the other stuff weighs out the way I have anticipated which it, it's gonna be close I imagine but yeah that that that's lunch. I'm going to show you something I picked up yesterday. These. 100% vegan. Looking forward to trying these out sometime. Probably maybe this this weekend. This coming weekend, not, not this weekend, but... They look good, at least. I found them at the grocery store, so... i at least try them. And so I'm going to get eating, right, bud? Okay, no one wants to see you lick your back, lick back of your tail. No one wants to see that. No one, no one does. Alright, I'm going to get eating, and dinner will be coming up in a few hours. Alright, it's dinner time, and it's about 5 or 7 here, almost 7 o'clock on this lovely East Coast Sunday evening. 
What we got here is about 310 grams of baked potato. As you can see, I was generous with the pepper and salt. I also put uh, one slice of my Daya ch cheddar cheese on there. So I'm looking forward to it. I haven't had baked potato for a while. I have some sliced up tomato, about 225 grams of these, these uh, tomatoes. And then I have four slices of bread. I also have about 100 grams of um, avocado on each slice. And then I have the tofurkey. Italian deli on there. I haven't had this, so I wanted to try it. I uh, actually, you can tell I cooked it in the pan a little bit there to give it that look there in the picture. Somewhat. I mean, it smells good. And I also put some more day of cheese on there. But that that is dinner. That is dinner. Um, tofurkey for all three servings. Obviously, three thirty there. So it's not bad. It, I'm looking forward to tasting it. There's a, there's like one or two other flavors. There's like uh, I forget. I think no. I think I had the bologna. I think there's still two other uh, tofurkeys that I haven't had yet of the lunch meat. But there it is, about 1,018 calories. Looking good. I still have about 45-ish calories left for the day after uh, redoing some some measuring. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But hey, we'll see. We will see here after I'm done eating. There's a lot I could do for 45 calories, I guess. I mean, sort of. I could add more fruit or maybe some more cereal or, or something. I don't know. We will figure it out. We will figure it out. But I'm going to get eating while this is hot. It smells good. I can't wait to eat the big potato. I haven't had that for a while, like I said. So, Kitman is already eating. He was begging for his food. So, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he, he's, a, he's a whiner. But he always gets what he wants. So, but, but, but yeah, all right. I'll see you and show you the banana bowl here shortly. All right, I'm done eating dinner, it's 7.30, and it is time to finish off the evening with my food. We got two bananas in here that are about 181 grams with some cashew milk, half a scoop of protein powder. Look at that. It looks just like ice cream. I mean, it's been in the freezer a little long, but it's getting there. And then over here we have Fiber One cereal. I have a Milky Caramel Apple Apple Milky Way in there, which I only have two more left, which are right here. Just two more. I mean, I haven't had one of those for like two weeks or a week or so now. So hopefully I'll get those other two eaten. It's just I just I don't know. I just don't feel like eating them, but I know they need to get they they need to get eaten. So then we got some. Honey bunches of oats, cereal, which, you know, I'm working on all my cereal that, I know this does have some dairy in it, I believe, and, uh, but it's soon gone. I have some other cereal back in my room yet that I've had, so that will soon be gone as well, momentarily. But then we also have about 350 grams of cantaloupe that I need to get eaten. I still have some left, so I'll get, probably have that finished by Tuesday, I'm thinking. Winking Tuesday. And there's the man of the hour walking out. Oh my gosh. But there we are. The drunk bull. Some more cantaloupe in there. That's that one. And or six calories under my twenty nine hundred calorie goal. One twenty nine fiber, sugar, protein, fat, carbs. So that's awesome. Okay, are you excited? Okay, hey, hey. He's like, just let me alone. But that is that is it. That's how I'm gonna finish my night off. I'm gonna go browse the internet, look at some stuff, and uh, do some more research on what I have planned coming up. But yeah, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Um, continue to have a great week, and until next weekend.